Yeah, that, that's what I'm shooting for for South Carolina, too. 17 and 13, 18 and 12. If you can go six and six in these final 12 games, I, I think, you know, and that's, I think that's a very conservative hope and prediction. But if you can do that, six and six, seven and five, you've done your job. You've secured a hosting spot. I, I think that's really all you can ask for. And like you said, um, who knows in the postseason? But it's interesting this game one. Yeah, I, I think it's super pivotal because, again, South Carolina, the, the game one blues, that's the top storyline. I feel like going into every series at this point because they haven't won a game one in so long. And I, I will tell you, man, that game one's pivotal because I just think, you know, I, I said it last week against Arkansas, you keep playing with fire, you're going to get burned at some point. You cannot just keep losing game one and winning series. And South Carolina did that, I think, like three or four weekends in a row. And it's just, you know, when you're facing the number one team in the country like Arkansas, I just knew it's going to burn you. When you go on the road and you're facing a talented team like Ole Miss, it's going to be hard to get away with that. You know, when they're at their home ballpark, do you think you're going to give them the edge in regards to if you come down to a Sunday rubber match, you know, you feel good about Will Sanders on the bump, but it's just going to be tough to get that W there uh, in Swayze. So, again, a, a, a series with a lot of storylines, but I'm really looking forward to it. This, this is a, you know, it's one that both teams really need. I mean, it's really need. We're getting down the stretch in SEC play. And, I mean, man, it's, it's just college baseball at its finest. That's, that's really all you can say. No, I'm, I'm pumped about it. Uh, I think Ole, Ole Miss has lost four straight Fridays, too, though. So, somebody, somebody's got to <laughs> Something's got to give. Hey, something's, something's got to give. Something's got to give. Yeah, something's got to uh, give on Friday. The atmosphere will be completely on fire. And uh, I want to just mention this, like I said, I mean, I'm there's a few teams since I got into college baseball that whose fan bases have noticeably stood out to me. And South Carolina is uh, one of them. I mean, they're kind of in the running in my head to be a bar school team at this point. Uh, the support I've gotten. And I think South Carolina and Ole Miss, there's some parallels too. Because yeah. y'all y'all have a deal with Florida and Georgia as kind yeah. of the mega programs uh, in, in the SEC East. And, uh, you know, Ole Miss is kind of, you know, behind, you know, when you look at how the West is, it's kind of similar. Oh, yeah. You know, that, I feel like there's a little parallels there uh, because of that. But, man, it's, uh, it's a huge series this weekend. And you said you're trying to make Hoover because I'm really excited. About yeah, that. no, I, I definitely want to go. I mean, I've never been. And I've got some friends that have been that, that are like, dude, you have to go. And so this is really the first year doing this full time that I'm going to have the opportunity to actually go. And so I'm like, dude, why not? I mean, it's the best college baseball. I mean, I, you know, the only thing I'm scared of is South Carolina traditionally has been horrid in Hoover. Even their best teams that won back-to-back -back titles were like two in Q or maybe played three games. But either way, still would love to go, still would love to see it because it's going to be an absolute slugfest out there. I mean, the best teams in college baseball, the best quality of college baseball, you really can't ask for anything more. Well, what's um, interesting to me on yeah. Hoover is this year because they're announcing the sites earlier, the host yeah. sites. Are teams going to be careful with their pitching staffs in Hoover if it doesn't affect their NCAA tournament thing? I mean, I would think they would. Well, and I'm I'll tell you, I'll tell you this, man. I think those postseason tournaments, I mean, I'd ask you, do they really benefit the best teams? I mean, they've already got it locked up. Who cares? You know what I mean? Exactly. I guess it, it doesn't really matter for Vandy what they do in Hoover. You know what I mean? But, like, for a team like, I don't know, maybe Texas A&M or somebody else that's like, hey, we need to win the tournament to get in. That's who it really matters for and who it can help or a team that's on the bubble. But, yeah, I mean, for your best teams, you know, if you're a, if you're a 20 win SEC ball club, why do you give a damn about Hoover and what you do there? I mean, you know, we used to joke, like I said, with the 10, 11, and 12, and South Carolina's never been good there. I used to joke with my buddies that played at South Carolina, like, dude, we didn't care. I mean, we just, we're just ready to get to the postseason. Hey, it gives us more time to rest. Go two and Q and take a week off and get ready for the regional. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. You make a good point, though. But it's still, I, you know, I think it is important, you know, winning that tournament, winning your conference overall. It's 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 still a pretty cool thing and a thing I think you can hang your hat on. And I know Hoover doesn't matter, but, man, I sure would love to see South Carolina hoist that banner one of these days. Ole Miss has done well in Hoover yeah. recent, recent years. I always think anytime I think of Hoover, I think of the LSU Tigers, though. I mean, good God. The Veneery, yeah. every year they start slower and turn it on late April, May, and then they're just a terror in Hoover. Uh, this year, though, 4-11 and 11 almost feels like too big. And you know, they, they really blew a golden opportunity in a sweep last weekend in Oxford. And uh, they've got – I'm like I said, I'm going to Alex Box. Like, I'm yeah. trying to – look, everybody knows I'm an Ole Miss fan. That's mm. not not anything that's news to anyone. But I'm trying to get out and not just do Ole Miss right. games. I'm right. excited to go uh, to Alex Box this weekend. And on this trip, I hit the dude in Starkville, Swayze, yeah. uh, and the box. And so, I'm, I'm looking forward to that series, too. LSU's gotten the best of Arkansas historically in baseball, even when Arkansas's great. So, I'm yeah. curious – yeah, for sure, man. We'd love to have you at Founders Park. And obviously, I think you're a lot like me. I mean, I'm a Gamecocks fan, but I appreciate college baseball. And oh, the I just like being out around the afternoon. Right, exactly, exactly. I'm showing, it to I'm showing it to all these people in the North and Midwest that haven't seen yeah. that. Can't, so you, can't be, you can't beat a weekend at a great SEC ballpark. It doesn't matter which one it is.